speaker. Nakakaintindi po ba kayo ng English o Tagalog? Uh, Your Honor, I just speak English. English? English only, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, who among the officers do you know? Uh, actually, some... Ito, takutin mo yung tanong ko. Baka i-contempt din kita eh. No? Yes, Your Honor. Um, this is the, the right time for you to um, uh, to be truthful. We only have a room for six people. And I, I told Mr. Akop to uh, refrain from uh, uh, doing something that we cannot ac accommodate anymore. They don't want me to attend this hearing. And I was uh, almost kidnapped once. They don't tell me their names. They just say, don't attend the hearing. Otherwise, they will create criminal case and BI immigration cases to against me. In other words, they were under your custody Southern Police District for 14 days, September 16 to September 30, without any complaint being filed. Tama! Sergeant Ruiz, di ba tama yun? Yes, Your Honor. And in that law that you mentioned, 92-03, 92-03, anti-trafficking, dapat may complaint, di ba? Yes, Your Honor. And the complaint must emanate from the victims themselves, their relatives, di ba? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. So wala kayong basis na i-detain sila because there was no complaint. And that is precisely the reason why your district director was looking for a means na ma-justify yung detention. Kasi merong interpreter dyan, according to reports, nag-interpret is Mr. Sean Kemp here. Yes, uh, we have invited and the presence of uh, Mr. Sean is here. And uh, he took his oath already, so we, you can directly ask the questions on this, uh, on this uh, resource speaker. Nakakaintindi po ba kayo ng English o Tagalog? Uh, Your Honor, I just speak English. English? English only, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, who among the officers do you know? Uh, actually, some... Ito, takutin mo yung tanong ko. Baka i-contempt din kita eh. Hello, sir. Uh, there are some officers who look Who Spanish. among the officers present do you know personally? Uh, Mr. Bong, sir. Mr. Bong. Bong? I only know the nickname, sir. Who is Bong? Ikaw? Ako po yun, Your Honor. Sergeant, ano? Patrolman Mambong po, Your Honor. Mambong. Noong or when an interpreter was needed so that you can talk to the Chinese ladies, Sino ang kumontak kay Mr. Sean? Um, Your Honor, ganito po yung nangyari nun. Nung nag-inquest po kami, Your Honor, wala po kaming kasamang interpreter. Noong? Nag-inquest proceeding po. Nag-inquest proceeding. Yung lalaking Chinese? Opo. Ay, kasi hindi nyo nahuli yung isa eh. Yes po. Yes. Then may mga rescued po na babae doon, Your Honor. Wala po kaming Sinong interpreter. Sinong nirescue nyo na babae ron? Yung, yung apat na babae. Opo, kasama na. Pito oh, po. Eh, kinatok ninyo sa ibang lugar yon eh. Yung iba, nag-usyoso lang eh. Hinuli na ninyo eh. Di ba? Kayo nga nag-testify? Kasamahan mo? Yes po. Yes. Huwag nyo nang kwando na nakatatak na sa aking memoria yun eh. Oh. Di ba? So, okay. paano napasok si Mr. Sean sa eksena? Yung during inquest po namin, Your Honor, wala po kaming interpreter. Sabi po nung pau, tawagin daw po namin si Sean. Nandun po siya sa hallway noon, sir. Paano alam ng, ng uh, pau yung pangalan ni Mr. Sean? Uh, Your Honor, si Mr. Sean po, ginagamit na po talaga doon na interpreter sa loob ng ano. Ng korte? Opo. Oh, okay, sige. Pero ikaw ang kakilala? No, Your Honor. Doon lang po kami nagkita, Your Honor. Nung pinatawag na po sa akin ni Sir Dilayon po, investigador. Pinatawag ni... Pinatawag po sa amin ng pau, inutusan po ako ni investigator so, po namin. So, walang kakilala si Mr. Sean sa inyo? Wala po, Your Honor. So, napunta siya bilang interpreter because of the pau lawyer? Opo, Your Honor, in-endorse po sa amin. Hmm. In-endorse sa inyo. Now, yun ay ginamit nyo sa inquest proceeding. Doon sa pinapag-usap ninyo doon sa apat na babae, Ginamit nyo ba siya? Your Honor, pinapunta po namin siya sa office, Your Honor. 
Pinapunta nyo doon? Sa office po ng DSOU, Your Honor, para daw po kukuha na ng information po yung mga rescued po. So, siya ang nag-serve na interpreter doon? Opo, Your Honor. So, so in other words, patuloy ko lang si Congressman Akro. Uh, uh, in relation to uh, what you were saying a while ago, that this Mr. Sean at you, nagkita lang kayo doon sa ini-inquest lang. Opo, Your Honor. Now you're saying to, to us, uh, Mr. Sean, that ang kilala mo ay siya. Ayun, okay? So, doon sa grupo nila Major Magsalos, Gibara, at Nikihana, nakasama mo na ba ang mga taong ito? Oh, wait, wait. You don't speak Tagalog? I'm English? sorry, Your Honor. I only speak English. Do you understand Tagalog? No, I don't understand. You don't understand Tagalog? Only English to Mandarin. Okay, those people who are here today, no? Uh, the group of Colonel Gibara, Major uh, Kihana, and Major Magsalos. Do you know them? Uh, I don't know them, but I saw them. Are you talking. sure? Yes, sir. You, you are under oath. Yes, sir. Ay, uh, okay. Yes, Your Honor. Remember this? <laughs> yes, you are sir. under oath. Huh? Yes, Your Honor. You are a, a uh, Chinese national. Yes, you are not a Filipino. Chinese national, Your Honor. When was... Um, um, you've been here in the Philippines for how many years? Uh, since 2012, sir. 2012? Yes, sir. And what? 2012? Yes. yes. And you are a Chinese national? Yes, Your Honor. So what are you using? Uh, what kind of uh, visa are you using? Uh, because my wife is a Filipino, I already have permanent residence here. So in other words, you're always, uh, what do you call that? Uh, that? That your visa is being reapplied every uh, a year or two years? <coughs> um, I have green cards, which means permanent residence. Honor. So okay. I'm, I'm already um negative. Ah, that's the reason why you, you can stay for 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 long for a longer time. Yes, Your because Honor. Because your wife is a Filipina. Yes, Your Honor. So you you don't have a direct relationship with this guy, with uh, all these guys, no? Yes, I don't have. How Honor. about your relationship with Sergeant Lord uh Antonino? I don't know those. You don't sir. know the guy. I don't know you. Are no, sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Honor. I will. Uh, I will uh, assume my line of question in a while. But for the meantime, uh, I'll be letting uh, Congressman Akop uh, do the uh, the questioning. Go ahead, Congressman. I'm about Akop. to wrap uh, to wrap up, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Sean, your name is Xing Hua Xiao. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, and uh, you have two passports. Uh, Your Honor, um, expired I, in 2021? Have, yes, Your Honor, I have an old passport. It was expired in 2021. Yes. I have already renewed it. I, and I already did the annual report yesterday. In okay. Moa. Okay. And you do not know Police Major Maxalos? Uh, I don't know, sir. You don't know? Major yes. Maxalos, do you know Mr. Uh, Sheng Hua Xiao? No, Mr. Chair. No. Pag nakahanap ako ng testigo, ibabalikan ko kayo. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, is it true, Mr. Sean, that you have been arrested by the PNP in 2021? Uh, yes, Your Honor, because I, ha I had a conflict with someone. I beg your pardon? Uh, I had a conflict with someone. They entered my room and I heard him. That's true. I was arrested in 2021, Your Honor. You were accused of prostrated murder, right? Yes, Your Honor. You were accused of prostrated murder, uh, Congressman Apo. And the case was settled. Uh, no, it did they not, didn't appear. It did not end uh, because of merits of the case. Uh, sorry, Your Honor? Uh, the case was settled. Uh, it's not settled. They didn't appear in the court. And uh, we the, became the, friends. The, 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 just the, 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 the victim did not appear in the court or, already to pursue his complaint. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yes. Alam na namin na nangyari. We know already what happened. Kama naman, no? <laughs> anyway, uh, Mr. Chair. Yes, okay. Uh, Congressman Akop. I think uh, I have proven already. Hmm. Uh, but, but, but for the meantime, before you end your uh, line of questioning, I would like to remind you, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Sean, no? Yes, Your Honor. Um, this is the, the right time for you to... Um, uh, to be truthful to all that what you're saying in this uh, committee. As a matter of fact, the reason why I, I'm trying to control uh, Congressman Ako is that we only have a room for six people. 
and I, I, I told Mr. Akop to uh, refrain from uh, uh, doing something that we cannot ac accommodate anymore. So, next time around, no, we will be inviting you over as well. But uh, rest assured, rest assured. But if, if you continue on lying, if you continue on lying on this committee, we'll, you will suffer at the same fate. Uh, remember your, that. Remember that. Okay, Your Honor, but I level nine. Your Honor, uh, I just want to inform you something. I keep on receiving threats from those Chinese group. They mm. don't want me to attend this hearing. And I was almost kidnapped once because after this incident. You were I, kidnapped once? Yes, in Kansas Almost City. kidnapped once. The, have you reported this to the, to the proper authorities? Yes, sir. I have it, report it, to Sidhu. You have a blatter on that? Uh, I already forward to the police officer. You forwarded the documents in my office? Uh, no, um, it was endorsed to the prosecutor office in uh, Quezon City because they don't want me to attend this hearing. I was hesitating to come here, actually. So who wanted you not to attend on this hearing? The Chinese nationals. The Chinese nationals? Who's the national? They keep on saying that if I attend this hearing, they will use their connections to create who criminal cases. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Who are those national uh, Chinese I nationals? don't know them, sir. They just contact me through Telegram. And they uh, found and my account. They told you not to attend this hearing. Yes, the Chinese nationals speak. You don't know them. I don't know who are they. They are just. Uh, if you don't know them, that's chismis. That's Marites. You tell us if somebody told you what is the name. Sir, it's uh, unidentified because they contact me through Telegram. It's unidentified. You cannot uh, discuss that in here. Uh -huh, you have to okay. validate your claim. Uh -huh. so who are those people who try, were trying to tell you not to come here? Who are those people? I think it's uh I, I, I don't know, sir, because they are they don't tell me their names. They just say don't attend the hearing, otherwise they will create criminal case and BI immigration cases to against me. But I still want to come here to testify. So oh, Iho <laughs> to borrow the line. We need names, you know. And if uh, you're tr trying to tell us that uh, those are um, anonymous, then uh, we cannot do something. But Thank you for being here, no? Okay. Uh, but of course, we have to remind you again and again that you have to be truthful sa lahat yeah, ng mga yes, sasabihin mo. Okay. So, uh, the chair would like to uh, recognize uh, Congress. I, I thought you're done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, Congressman Ako. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair, for my, for my last question. Uh, this would be to Lieutenant Colonel uh, Jolet Guevara. Yes, Mr. Chair. You said a while ago that you were interviewed on October 12, 2023, about 3 o'clock p.m. by your regional director. Would that be correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. Na? Yes, Mr. Chair. At sinabi mo lang kanina, pagsagot mo, interview lang yon. Yes, Mr. Chair. But were you ever told that uh, interview lang yun? Yes, O sir. ikaw ang nag-request sa kanila na makausap mo sila? No, Mr. Chair. Hindi ikaw ang nag-request? Hindi, Mr. Chair. Ikaw ang pinatawag? Yes, Mr. Chair. And uh, may I know kung sino-sino yung mga tao na present doon? It was uh, our good regional director, Mr. Chair, and uh, Deputy Regional Director for Operation, uh, Police Brigadier General Gurat, together with the uh, Regional Intelligence Division Chief, uh, Police Colonel Jasmine Des, and with uh, Police Lieutenant Colonel Arino, if I may recall. Uh, uh, I don't know the other... Yes. Children. Hindi ka ba nagtaka na yung magtatanong sa iyo eh, yung Regional Director his deputy director for operations because it involved operations nandun yung regional investigation division chief at nandun yung legal officer I, I was not told Mr. Chair that they, they are... but you know them as Hindi uh, pasal... yun ang mga pwesto nila di ba? yes Mr. Chair yes. Nakita nung... kasi you are under NCRPO and you mentioned that these four officers were present yes Mr. Chair yes uh, uh, it started at 3 o'clock p.m. Tama? If I may recall, yes, Mr. Yes. Kasi nandun sa video eh. Yes, Mr. Diba? Last hearing, may video. 
nung inyong pag-uusap ni na General Nartates with his officers and you. Tama? Yes, Mr. Chair. Oo. Oh. And at uh, in that hearing, the regional director of NCRPO asked you or stated, you are under pre-charge investigation and I guess nakapag-submit ka na ng sa, sa iyong salaysay o affidavit mo. Would that be correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. Oh, di alam mo pala na under pre-charge investigation because you were informed by your RD. I already submitted my position. Ay, na, sinasabi, tinatanong kita. Yes, yes Mr. Hindi Chair. Hindi ko tinatanong kung nag-submit ka kung ano. Tama ba yung statement ni General Narrata? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, kasi nakarecord. Hindi ka makapagsisinawalin dito. Kasi trinanscribe ko lang yung nangyari doon. At nasa akin yung transcription. Ha? Huh? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. And you answered, yes, sir. In other words, from your answer, alam mo na nagsisimula yung pre-charge investigation. Tama? No, Mr. Chair. Hindi ko alam na yun pala yung gagamitin sa... Ano no? I'm, the, I'm not aware with that, Mr. Chair. Eh, si, inamin mo na sinabi ni General Nartati sa iyo na... You are under pre-charge investigation. Yes, Mr. Chair. Oh, yes. Therefore, you knew already na iniimbestigahan ka. Yes, Mr. Chair. Oo. Oh, ikaw naman, no? Huwag kang magsinungaling. Baka dadagdaga ko yung 15 days mo, eh. Ha? Ano ang... Uh, sinabi mo kay Kwan tungkol sa operations dito? Dito mo sinabi, di ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Na nagbigay ka ng 500,000 pesos kay Major Magsalos. Tama? It was at uh, 3.1335. At that time that you were being subjected to pre-charge investigation. Nandun, hindi maglalay yung kwan. At saka ang testigo, Apat na opisyal eh. Versus your word. Ano? Totoo? It was, already, it was in the video, Mr. Chair, but uh, I have already... Hindi ka ligawal nandun ka sa video. Sumasagot ka, di ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Hindi mo sinabi ito? Kanina, dininay mo ha. Hindi lang ako kumikibo kanina. Pero uh, may ebidensya na ako na sinabi mo yun talaga. Na was... nagbigay kayo ng 500,000 kay Major Magsalos. As much as possible uh, to answer that question with you, sir, but I have already a case uh, filed against me, a criminal and uh, administrative message, sir, so that... Hindi nga, sagutin mo muna ako. Sinabi mo ba sa video yon? Yes, yes or no? Yes, Mr. Chair. Sa susunod na lang ang tanong ko, Mr. Chair, para may dahilan ako na pag nagsinungaling, I will move to cite him in contempt. Thank you. And I was about to, uh, to tell you 